Dog here today for Monday, March 2nd, goes the former NFL player Jack Brewer. Do you know who Jack Brewer is? Uh, Jack Brewer is a former NFL safety who played college ball at Southern Methodist University. He's also an ordained minister and a professor at Fordham University and a black man who is pro-Trump. Now, recently there was a Black History Month roundtable in the White House, and the roundtable consisted of other black Trump supporters like Diamond and Silk and Martin Luther King Jr.'s niece, Alveda King. Now, we all know Trump's campaign has been courting black voters in recent weeks, and this week the campaign announced it was opening community centers to court black voters in 15 different cities. Now, what's the science in that? Why is he doing that? Well, because Trump's team is hoping that increasing his black support from 8% to even the low teens could potentially put the president over the top uh, come November. Now, the reason Donald Trump thinks he's good in the hood, thinks he's so good for black America and why he feels he deserves the black vote is because he feels he has improved the lives of black Americans through his Opportunity Zone legislation because of his uh, record unemployment rate for black Americans, which actually started under President Obama. Uh, scholarships for African-American children wanting to leave low-performing schools, and of course, the achievements of his criminal justice reform legislation, the first step back. Some black folks feel like because of these things, Trump has done more for black folks than any president ever. Uh, well, in particular, President Barack Obama. Well, sadly, black people aren't used to getting anything aren't used to getting anything from the government, uh, but a foot up their ass. So when a few crumbs are given back, black folks lose their damn minds. And that's what happened to Jack Brewer because as the event was winding down, Jack Brewer said this to Donald Trump. I don't want to interrupt, but I got to say this because it's Black History Month. Man, you the first black president. Uh, play it one more time. I don't want to interrupt, but I got to say this because it's Black History Month. Man, you the first black president. Now, it's a... Quite a few reasons this is lame. The first reason is clearly because in 2008, America elected the first black president named Barack Hussein Obama. Now, whether or not you feel he did enough for the black community, that's irrelevant. He's still black. He's still a black man. So to erase his blackness or position him as anti-black because you feel he didn't do anything for the black community, that's whack. All right. The second reason this is super lame to me is because black people, I don't care how cool you think a white person is, stop labeling them as black. Okay. I don't care how they dress. I don't care how they talk. I don't care how they dance. I don't care what they do for you. Don't label white people as black ever. Okay, liberals, Democrats, this goes for y'all too. All right, RIP to the late, great Toni Morrison. Uh, back in 1998, she wrote an article for the New Yorker, and she was talking about the mistreatment President Clinton was receiving um, from the Whitewater real estate scandal to his affair with White House intern Monica Lewinsky. And she wrote how the presidency was being stolen from us, and she suggested that black men could relate to Clinton. So she wrote, white skin notwithstanding, Bill Clinton was our first black president. Now, this was bad, all right? When you go back and read some of the reasons why Toni Morrison called Bill the first black president, let me read them to you. Uh, she she wrote, blacker than any actual black person who could ever be elected in our children's lifetime. After all, Clinton displays almost every trope of blackness. Single parent household, born poor, working class, saxophone playing, McDonald's and junk food loving boy from Arkansas. A lot of black folks ran with that. OK, they ran with that, uh, that Clinton is one of us because he comes from a single family household, because he played the sax on Arsenio and because he loved McDonald's and junk food. We got a couple examples of black folks. Uh, running with that, don't we? Play, play them. I call myself an independent. Okay, but that's so, what we're talking about. Because I'm a big You're Bill Clinton party. fan. But I love him. He's the real first black president. I love See Bill. That? Okay, who is that? J.J. Walker. J.J. Walker. Uh, we got uh, Morgan Freeman, too. Right? Let me hear Morgan Freeman. I was playing golf with uh, Bill Clinton not too long ago, and I said, you know, people are saying uh, Obama's the first black president. And he's not. He's the first mixed race president. You're the first black president. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I don't know where that went. I don't know. It's, it's okay. P people to this day still call Bill Clinton the first black president. President LeBron James just did it on his IG back in January. And my question for all you black folks who call these white folks like Trump or Clinton the first black president, why are you so easily impressed? Okay, you call Clinton the first black president because he fits all these negative stereotypes of black people, never mind the fact he ruined African-American families with welfare reform efforts in the 94 crime bill, which led to mass incarceration. Y'all Negroes call Trump the first black president, even though when it comes to the economy, Trump's tax laws disproportionately hurt black folks. Y'all call Trump the first black president, even though he rolled back Obama era efforts geared toward protecting black students from discrimination and school punishment. Y'all call Trump the first black president, even though he weakened Obama era protection on policing. Okay, y'all call Trump the first black president, even though he's encouraged harsher sentences for drug offenses, including non-violent ones. Y'all call Trump the first black president, even though he defended white supremacists and refused to denounce the KKK.
Look, I understand if you think Trump has done some things that have helped black people. I understand if you think Bill Clinton was cool. But black, neither one of them will ever be. Now, let's be clear. If you want to say Donald Trump is the first nigga president, I'm all for that. Because even though we use that word as a term of endearment, we all know that the root meaning of the word nigga is ignorance. And Donald Trump is absolutely ignorant as hell. But labeling him the first black president because he gave you a few, few crumbs off his table, knock it off. Now, let's be clear about something. Even though some of these liberals still refer to Bill Clinton as the first black president, it's important to note that Toni Morrison in 2008 said that people misunderstood the phrase about Clinton. She said, and I quote, I was deploring the way in which President Clinton was being treated. The sex scandal that was surrounding him, I said he was being treated like a black on the street, already guilty, already a perp. I have no idea what his real instincts are in terms of race, end quote. Now, in light of everything we've seen Donald Trump get away with, Tony Morrison is right. Trump is the epitome of white privilege. Another reason he could never be the first black president. But compared to how he's treated, yes, Bill Clinton got treated like a black man. But Tony Morrison said something here that black conservatives who called Donald Trump the first black president and black liberals who called Bill Clinton the first black president need to understand. This line right here. I have no idea what his real instincts are in terms of race. That right there is key. OK, no matter how much you like a white person, no matter how much you trust a white person, you never know what their true instincts are in terms of race. So don't you never, ever, ever think they are one of us, because I guarantee you that no matter how much you shuck and jive, no matter how much you dance for massa, they will never, ever think you are one of them. Your black ass needs to remember that. Please let Remy Ma give Jack Brewer the biggest he haw Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid motherfucker, you dumb. Mm-hmm.